Hey guys, um, it's me again. Uh, I'm in my little GoPro outfit today. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to put the intercooler on. Got everything here. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro in a second and you guys can see exactly how I installed it. I'll walk you through everything. Uh, I've got the car set up here. Um, obviously there's no engine, but uh, I bolted the course board on, uh, the radiator and the uh, condenser is still on there, as well as the factory power steering cooling coil. Just so you guys can see, I mean, this kit does fit really well with the stock hardware. I will show you guys what you need to modify. Uh, it's not much, but well, I guess I'll do that now while we are um, while we're in the good camera view because I can just point straight to it. So basically, what you're going to need to do, um, I'll go over it in a second with the tools. But you need an angle grinder. Um, you're going to have to cut these studs if you have them off of the core support. There's four of them. I just went ahead and cut them off. Um, I think the bottom ones are the only ones that actually get in the way, but the top ones I cut off anyway. Uh, basically, it's for clearance, but also I would recommend cutting them off just because if the intercooler gets pushed back, um, I'd rather it hit a flat surface mm -hmm. than um, the point that is created by those studs. Um, especially if you're drifting, you know you're gonna hit people, people are gonna hit you, you might hit a wall. Um, it's better to prevent any kind of damage that may end your day, and that's just a little way to do that. Um, the only other thing you're gonna have to do, I didn't cut that side, I don't think you have to. I'll verify that when I put it together for, for real, but um, so you can see this side, this is actually the headlight mounting bracket for underneath. Um, on the passenger side, you're actually gonna have to cut that off. So. You can see I sheared that guy off already. This was from me mocking it up, but um, I, I don't really need to show you guys how to cut something off. That's pretty easy. Um, otherwise, I've just got to bolt it in a few bolts just to hold it in place. Um, let me go ahead and switch over to this guy and uh, we'll get started on the install. Welcome. Um, so I got my GoPro on. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what you need to do. Let me move that guy. Okay. Um, so basically, first off, if you didn't watch the first video um, on explaining the intercooler and showing stuff, uh, these are the four bolts that mount these brackets to the intercooler. Um, I'm not using these. They are like Chinese trash bolts. Um, they're also 14 millimeter, so it's just an extra tool we have to use, which to me is a waste. So um, I actually have some other bolts that I'm gonna use. Uh, these actually have washers built in, so you don't lose the washers. Can't lose it. Um, they're zinc plated. Let's see if you can see that, yep. Uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. Uh, they came out of the car, so. Well, that one's not zinc plated, but uh, I just couldn't find the fourth one. Um, anyway, so tools are super minimal on this install. Um, you're just gonna need an impact. If you have one, if not, just a ratchet. Angle grinder, if you don't have one, uh, borrow one from somebody because this is an absolute necessity. Um, let's see, a 13 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, well, I mean, obviously the bolt choice is yours, but this is just what I did. So 13, 10, just to minimize the bolts that I used. An extension, I think, maybe, I just grabbed it. Uh, 13 and a 10 millimeter socket, and then in my case, I needed a T45 for these guys. These are gonna be the bolts that hold um, these brackets, which are the lower brackets, uh, to the chassis. So um, anyway, uh, other than that, you just need your brackets. You've got your left and right. I don't remember which is which. I'll figure that out in a second, but uh, these bolt to, well, I guess I'll show you. So, all right, so I'm about to install this. Uh, to the astute viewer, you'll notice that I now have a second desk. It's because I screwed up the last video. So I'm filming it again. And I also got a vise, which is cool. All right, let's go straight into it. So I already talked about the tools. Let's just go ahead and start installing stuff. First up, I'm gonna grab, this is the upper bracket for the intercooler and I'm using 10 millimeter bolts with some 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, we'll need 10 mil on the gun. God, and then 10 mil wrench. So if you can see, hopefully you can, you're going to install with the flat end or facing the um, core support right here like this. Super easy. I just feed my 10 mils through. 
Well, I guess you can get one at a time, probably easier, but. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, so 10 mil feeds in from the back here. Just don't need to go all the way. Just need to get it on there. Same for the side. Okay, biggest thing with these is making sure on the back that the washers sit flush because they can get crooked and it'll move this into a position where you can't mount the intercooler up properly. But basically I just get those up so everything's loose and can be moved. Second step, you're gonna go ahead and grab your lower brackets, your um, bolts for the lower brackets. I'm using a T45 and a 13 mil. So all you'll really need is this stuff. Um, for these, they're gonna go into each of these holes here on the uh, on the course port. These are a little tricky to install if you still have your radiator in. So you're gonna need to be able to get your fingers back behind the core support here. Hopefully you can see this. But getting that bolt up to the hole is a little tricky. But once you get it here, okay, pretty good. So then take your bracket and your bolt. Oops, sorry. And feed your feed your bolt through like that. Once you're snug, you're good. You don't need to tighten it all the way down. You just need to get it on there so you can get the intercooler mounted. Same thing for the other side. Oops. Get your bolt lined up. Bracket, bolt, Ooh. a little difficulty here, there we go, gotcha, okay, so now you've got all your bracketing on, you're going to grab your intercooler, and I went ahead and Installed my silicone couplers on the intercooler first. Passenger side, you're gonna use the three inch to two and a half inch reducer. And driver's side, you're gonna use the three inch straight. Once you got that ready to go, just go ahead and grab two of these, the two 13s. All right, so then I just take the intercooler. sit with it like this, I guess. Once you get one side, you're good, and you can just let it hang. Second side. All set. Now you're hung from the top there. Bottom section, pretty easy. You just have to like hold it in place. Just kind of feel the lower bolts off. I'll try and get down here for this one. So maybe you guys can see what I'm doing. Your intercooler's on, so the install's pretty quick, pretty easy. Then what I like to do is just go ahead and get your pipes. This one's gonna route under like this, and it does actually clear the headlight bracket, so you don't have to cut this side at all. At least I don't think you do. And then that'll go to your intake pipe, and you'll use 
I don't know what I did with it. I think I threw it away, but that little metal elbow that goes in and then there's enough, there are enough silicone couplers to put a MAF in there. Um, but most of the time you're gonna be buying a weld-in MAF because the stock MAF is not gonna handle any boost, especially blow through. So second pipe. And why I said you have to cut, because it runs like right there. Now I may be wrong. You may be able to wedge this back behind, but um, I haven't. I can't verify that obviously until I've got it like 100% in the car and ready to go. But so then you've got that, and then you've got your little uh, two and a half inch 90 that'll go into the turbo. But just like that, I mean the install is done. So. Basically what I do is get everything bolted together um, that's not the actual intercooler itself. So go ahead and tighten down your clamps on the turbo, clamps on the intake manifold, and everything all the way up to these pipes, and then down here. And then once the intercooler is situated and everything's tight, then go ahead and tighten the intercooler down last. And that's pretty easy. Like, like I said, you just need a 10 mil socket, 10 mil wrench first. You're going to just, like I said, make sure the washers don't fold. Tighten there. Don't go too crazy. A little tight there. And you're going to grab your T45 extension. Oh, don't, sorry. 13 mil wrench. This one's a little tricky, you're probably not going to be able to see this on the GoPro, but you're going to have to uh, feed the wrench awkwardly behind, but then you can tighten down like that. Same deal on this side. If you can see this, that would be awesome, but I doubt it. So, wrench through the back side. Make sure you're tight and just swap your 13 over. Quick tighten there, quick tighten there. Thirteen off, go underneath. And there you go. It's on, it's done, it's ready to go. And you can see the bracket's pretty flimsy. Um, I may redo the lower section or something, make something a little stronger, maybe make the top out of a little thicker steel, but in the event that you do like, you know, just have a little small fender bender with somebody, it'll push back a little bit so it shouldn't get damaged. Overall, it fits pretty well. I mean, obviously we'll see how well the intercooler itself holds up, but so far pretty good. First impressions are not bad. Uh, obviously I'm not running the uh, supplied blow off valve. That's gonna get, this is gonna get cut off and replaced with a tile 50 millimeter. Um, already got my tile 44 millimeter gate for the turbo. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, all you gotta do is just cut this off. And I mean, you're pretty much ready to go. Hello, uh, I'm here to give you one last look before I go away and figure out what video I'm going to do next. Uh, but here you guys go. So here's the final install uh, with bumper. I'll pull the bumper off here in a second. But you can see it fits pretty nicely. You've got pretty decent clearance on the bumper on top and down below too. You can see it fits nicely. There's enough room to run the mesh. Uh, it looks really good. It's pretty stealth. Um, may end up drilling like some speed holes or something in that just to get some air flowing over that part of the cooler or get some sort of ducting on the side here to kind of like bridge this gap so that air gets pushed through not only the intercooler but still gets pushed onto the radiator. Um, I don't know about upgrading the radiator yet. Uh, I'll do that down the line. I want to see how the stock one performs first, but give you a nice little tour here. You can see, I think you may need to trim right here just a teeny bit. Uh, so far it looks okay though. Um, 
fits really nicely up in here. And I did actually, I think, mock this up when I still had an engine in here, and it fits really nicely, and that lines up right with the intake. Um, so this kind of does sit on the frame rail, which I'm a little worried about, but we'll see how that goes once the turbo is on. And again, fits super nicely down here. And in there, I'll let you guys see everything. And then, pop this off real quick. Okay, here you go, here's your full, full shot. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown on the mounting points, in case you missed it. So the first one is up here, on the top of the core support. We got a 10 mil there. And let's see if I can show you the back side. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but it just bolts through right there. And then this bracket runs across to the inner, bolts on the intercooler, uh, second bolt over here. And then you have your second uh, set of bolts here. This is for the lower bracket. So you have that and it passes through to the back of the, of the crash shock. Pretty sure you can't see it, but um, anyway, that runs down underneath. Bolts to the intercooler there. Same deal over here, intercooler. Bolts right there. Just want to give you guys a how-to because like I said, CX does an ass job of giving instructions and telling you how to do this. There's nothing, no install videos, nothing really that I could find that was worth a crap. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, that's it for now, I guess. Um, this is a pretty solid intercooler kit. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. We'll see how it performs in the real world eventually. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, anything you would want to change on this? Um, Anything I should change on my install, let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, if you want to hit like and subscribe, that'd be really cool. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, I'm about halfway there. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to work on, oh, I guess I'll give you a little preview. Uh, M50 manifold install. Uh, I got that coming. I just had to get some injectors because I couldn't find mine. Um, yeah, so this is the Seems Legit Garage kit. I'll be doing a video on that. Um, I've got some coolant and oil line stuff coming. I am going to revise some of this, but the, the oil feed and return are set, but the coolant lines I'm going to mess with a little bit. Um, I might do a teardown video on this. This is the blown up B30. Uh, I'm going to be pulling maybe the bottom end out of that and then putting it in this. This is an M52 TUB, so aluminum block out of an E46. Might put the three liter bottom end in this, make this a three liter stroker. I'm going to take this manifold off because I know this is actually swap the guys do. I'm going to do, that's the three liter manifold off of that. So I'm going to do a three liter manifold on that one and an M50 manifold on this one. So that'll be some decent content. Um, ooh, I can show you a sneak peek here. So we got this bad boy, Tidal MVR 44 millimeter gate. We got this little guy right here. Got some cool little... Uh, hood exit, hood dump, wastegate plans. Uh, I got my downpipe here. Get that uh, welded on soon. I just got to get a welder. Um, my one that I use is 220 and I can't use it here. So um, I got my little drop down to go from 3 inch to 2.5 to fit the downpipe. Uh, I'll do an SLR install when I get my SLR stuff eventually. I got the rest of my exhaust. There's a muffler down there, a resonator down there. Uh, I'm going to have this car in scrap in a few days. Uh, I've got a new one coming. It's pretty cool. I used to own it, and I bought it back again. So uh, definitely so stay tuned. Bleh. Stay tuned, please. Um, I will keep you guys updated with what I'm doing. If you don't follow me on Instagram or anything like that, that's where I post like what I'm doing. If you want to keep track of my build progress or what's going on um yeah just tune in there i'll put my instagram in the description or something i don't know i'll put links to the kit in the description i'll put that's probably it i don't know yeah i don't know uh anyway there's the kit hope you enjoyed it let me know see you later bye